Vrumba si secondary school nilikuwa nasoma pale. Uh, a time came when my aunt was sick and she, she was admitted alikuwa uh, ameadmitiwa Tabaka Mission Hospital and my uncle came to pick me from my grandmother's house to go and help the kids because they were little ni wasaidie kuwapikia wakienda shule asubuhi from there ndio niende shule pia mimi so at that moment i didn't know what was going on and my aunt alikuwa dress ada wa shule kuna hii kitu mnasemanga watu wakileta ngombe kwa uwanja wa shule wanalipa pesa oh ie ma nyingi so someone put the money na kaika ile uji hii kitu ya kuandika vyombo ukiosha ukwenze unajua eh, kwa hiyo sasa napelewa hiyo nyo napiga na mbao alafu ukishosha vyombo unaweka juzi kauke nilikuwa nimepika uji asubuhi nikaeka hapo so obviously huko kwetu ukipika uji asubuhi hapo ndio unaeka mtu akitoka shambani vifaa fanye anything huko kale kauji ndio anakimbia kushika kwanza kashikilie tu So um to chairman akaleta pesa akaeka hapo I didn't know I had no idea that the man was put there Me I, I only went there to help Na ile kitu ilipeleka huko ndio nilikuwa nafanya At that time tulikuwa tunafunga shule na kulikuwa na kazi yangu mwingine Ah uh, alikuwa anajua my aunt more than I do Yeye yeah, alijua yeah, pesa imeekwa pale So tukiwa lunch akachukua ile pesa ah, tukaenda tukarudi shule si tumekuja lunch tumekula tukarudi shule na ilikuwa siku ya kufunga shule tamwani ah, tukaenda tukapewa of ini semeaji tukaambiwa sasa you can go out and do whatever buy whatever you want kazi yangu yeye akaenda kwa hoteli akakunywa soda na mandazi And she went back to my aunt akamwambia nimeiba pesa nimeenda nikakunywa na soda na mandazi So when my aunt was asking me about the money nadi kuja shule siti aliulizia nani alikuja mpaka darasani huko Na kumbuka at that time bio ndio ilikuwa the last paper Ya kumaliza form 1 ya kumaliza a a hiyo ni term 1 na tukipewa hiyo break tukaambiwa John mtafanya bio ndio tufunge shule So ni make it easy I'm trying to think what am I going to write my aunt comes we mwizi how do you react on that eh uh, nikasema mimi kwanza ame kusoma ah nimesoma kiasi nika form 1 na masomo yangu ikafanya pale okay unaweza tuelezea ni vipi masomo yako iliweza kuanzia kuanzia chekechea eh, mpaka ulipofika hiyo ile kitatu cha kwanza maisha ilikuwaaje ni maana wengi wamekuwa kilalamika sana ya kwamba eh oh, maisha ilikuwa mzuri tuweza kanala chini kwenda shule eh, ama wewe uliweza kuvaa viatu unaweza kutuelezea acha nikupe muda ili uweze kutuambia ah uh, uh, ni ukweli vile wanasema uh, si kila mtu kufanikiwa kuvaa kiatu kwenda shule hata mimi nilikai kanala chini niliyei hata kulala njaa alafu kesho na mkanenda shule so life ilikuwa hard but mungu tu mungu ni mwema anju alituwezesha uh, kutoka nasari mpaka nikafika hapo mahali nimefika life ilikuwa challenge sana but uh, our parents tried alijaribu sana okay eh, kwa maana eh, wazazi popote ambapo eh, walipo tuweza kuwapa ongera ama kungore eh, ni kongole eh tunaanza kushema kwa shule na mapema okay So eh, tunawaambia asante sana kwa kuwa wameweza kukulea hadi waweza kufika eh, muda huu. So after masomo, after kufika kidato cha kwanza, nini kilifanya ukachia kidato cha kwanza? Ni kusaji wa karo ama kuna mambo mengi mzingiti vingine ambavyo viweza kuchangia? Hata kama kulikuwa na ukosefu wa karo, hai kuchangia. Ah, nilipata mimba. So ile yale kupata mimba I didn't realize I was pregnant until we had a uh, one of my aunt uncle's wife brother to my mom uh, we had an argument so kawa ni kupishana kidogo ndio alinijulisha kwa ni kuna board wakati alikuwa anataka kuni iseme kunitandika ama kunidunga kisu 
uh, at that moment ndio asira akasema ningekuua lakini nime nimeonea mtoto wako huruma that's when i realized in kuna mimba ya four months ebu wazi hapo kwanza eh asua ni eh, unajua mwanzo kuleta swala nyingine hapo eh, ya kwamba eh, your uncle ambayo ni uncle tujajua ni uncle wa kina baba yako ama wa kina mama yako i said brother to my mom okay okay mimi nasi kushika vizuri brother to my mom mm. okay eh brother to my mom alikotaka kukudunga kisu bibi yake bibi yake kisu mm. asua eh, kwamba uko na mimba mm. so ilikuwaje mpaka yani atae kutoa wao kwa sababu ya mimi ama kuna vile alikuwa ame invest kwako na alikuwa anakulipia karo niposa akakuwa na hiyo uchungu yakataka kukuua asikaro nilikuwa nikiingia form 1 i went to my matino grandma manyameza mama nilikuwa nasomea huko mimi join in yavrupa si secondary school nilikuwa nasoma pale Uh, a time came when my aunt was sick and she, she was admitted alikuwa uh, me admitiwa tabaka mission hospital and my uncle came to pick me from my grandmother's house to go and help the kids because they were little ni wasaidie kuwapikia wakienda shule asubuhi from there ndio niende shule pia mimi so at that moment i didn't know what was going on and my aunt alikuwa dressed at our shule kuna hii kitu mnasemanga watu wakileta ngombe kwa uwanja wa shule wanalipa pesa oh hii yeah. eh, mara nyingi so lupu. someone brought the money na akaika ile uji hii m- kitu ya kuandika vyombo ukiosha upenzi eh, na unajua eh, kwa hiyo eh, na kuelewa hiyo nyo anapiga na mbao eh, alafu ukiosha vyombo unaweka juzi kauke nilikuwa nimepika uji asubuhi nikaeka hapo wewe asilimpo kwetu ukipika uji asubuhi hapo ndio umeka mtu akitoka shambani before afanye anything huko kale kauji ndio anakimbia kushika kwanza kashikilie tu so huyo mtu chairman akaleta pesa akaeka hapo i didn't know i had no idea that the money was put there me i, I only went there to help na ile kitu ilinipeleka huko ndio nilikuwa nafanya at that time tulikuwa tunafuma shule na kulikuwa na kazi yangu nyingine Uh, alikuwa anajua my aunt more than i do yeye yeah, alijua yeah, pesa imekuwa pale so tukiwa lunch akachukua ile pesa uh, tukaenda tukarudi shule si tumekuja lunch tumekula tukarudi shule na ilikuwa siku ya kufunga shule time one uh, tukaenda tukapewa off ini semeaji tukaambiwa sasa you can go out and do whatever buy whatever you want. Kazini yangu yeye akaenda kwa hoteli akakunywa soda na mandazi. And she went back to my aunt akamwambia nimeiba pesa nimeenda nikakunywa na soda na mandazi. So when my aunt was asking me about the money na alikuja shule siti alinizia ni wewe alikuja mpaka darasani. Na kumbuka at that time bayo ndio ilikuwa the last paper ya kumaza form 1 ya kumaliza ah ah hiyo ni term 1 na tulipewa hiyo break tukaambiwa John mtafanya bayo ndio tufunge shule so nimekatwi hivi i'm trying to think what am i going to write my aunt comes where mwizi how do you react on that eh ah, nikasema mimi si mwizi and at that time i had this uh, azira ilikuwa inanipanda haraka sana so ndio tukakuwa na So I was imagining this is the lady I've been helping the kids na amekuja mpaka darasani kunita mwizi and you know that picture how the the students would react when they see you they see you like a thief au kwa hata ukijaribu kukataa hata ujitetea aje so it went by a week went by and this aunt of mine I didn't know whether she had an idea na agenda because I wonder because she doesn't love people going to her house So uh we have closed this the school eh uh, I'm doing my own things my grandfather used to tell me enda unichunie ile chai enda unipalilie ile chai yeah I'm on my own no doing my own thing nimetumwa kufanya tume meet kwa barabara so like why kama jinga sipendangi kukuona kama si mtoto akokuwa tumbe yako ningekuua sahi na hapo napanga so 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 tuseme eh wakati alikuja kwa shule 
kuja kwa shule najua ye yeah, najua ni vigumu sana mzazi kwenda direct kwa kadrasa uh, wadrasa la, la mtu kwenda kumfanyia mtu kama hiyo sasa alichukua opportunity tu juu yako na cheo kwa shule uh, sasa akaingia tu gate direct ya kwenda staff room akakuta pa kwa class hiyo direct hiyo hiyo shule ilikuwa na gate kulikuwa na pita tu hiyo oh, ilikuwa njia zote okay so eh ayo akaisha mhm sasa siku siku nyingine tena wao katumwa na babu yako kama kawaida siku zako za kawaida so ukafika pale sasa uko barabara unapata usimo hivi mtu anaoja na kuambia wewe nitakuua eh sitaki kukuwa na mbele yangu so that's when she said okay kama sio mtoto ningekudunga hii pale hivyo wewe uko aware kama mtoto i was not aware like i was pregnant I didn't know. The only thing I knew ni menona. <laughs> I got. I only knew ni menona. Mkula vizuri. Uh-huh. Unajua eh unajua wazazi wengi wanasemanga wasasiwa nyi wanawake mnasemanga mtoto hadi mtoto hapo kwa na kuna mizile sense ambayo ataonyesha utajua ya kwamba uh, kuna mimba ama kuna shida fulani. So labda ni ndio alitumia kuangalia jua ilikuwa ni first time yako na uko experience anything that's why kuweza kujua. Mm-hmm. Okay na wakati hiyo shoka alikuwa hai ya yeah, mama ikran mama ya grandma da ku notice anything before ta anti ya kaonge you maybe will go share with you two story from my youth i really uh, when i used to live with my grandma i never used to sit with her oh that's why i could have uh, notice she is someone who is out there doing her own thing and all that kukana washosho wengine akienda shamba toke huko afuze adali so i used to stay with my another uncle Oh my love so much ali hapo na vijana watatu so ile kukaa na vijana no one not to mtu hapo na god yeah okay eh so tunaelekea kutoka hapo mbapo amekuja hapo kwa barabara mhm amebebea akuja na kisu mm-hmm. mapanga mm-hmm. so kuliendaje sasa kutoka hapo nini nini mliongea hapo before uh, hiyo ndio we didn't talk much i only told her I I only respect to those who respect me and I went away. Akutshivu kama moja ukaenda sasa. I just we I, I only Aukusema. I said I only respect those who respect me. I didn't take your money but if you see me as a thief I'm not going to respect you as my aunt. I'm going to see you as my enemy. Akusema sasa acha katambi. Unajua lazima mara nyingi mtu akikombea akuja na panga ni wewe kama kama I don't know what happened by the way. Mm. But I said if you you I I can't respect you because you don't I respect those who respect me. I can't you as my I see you as my aunt when you take me as a team. Ile madhara uko nayo na familia yao watu usinilete. And I just walked away. Wa, hapo pia ni kisungu mkuti mtazamaji. Okay, sasa ulipofika kwa wazazi eh mm-hmm. uko uh, South Mogrango. Mm-hmm kiti ya kwanza wazazi wako unajua maybe aunt yake alikosha wapige simu kuambia mtoto wenu wako na mimba unajua lazima kuna ile fununu ya mama huo mnaambia nanga oh mtoto wako alikuwa ni so kazo ulifika huko mama na wazazi wako walikupokea kwa njia gani ah uh, they not react at all hawaku react at all kidogo ah uh, but why yenye nilipewa kutoka shule si ya school fees iko iko ya school fees but i was told in ya school fees huku fungua nani usome uh, ukipewa barua kama imefungwa ni upeleka mpaka kwa mzazi mimi nakumbuka eh, barua hiyo eh, kwa barua ilikuwa inachukuliwa hivi nakumbuka sana eh, shule 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 nilisoma ulikuwa na hiyo tabia okay ile naweka pin hapa mimi nilikuwa nikipewa barua na na watu wenye maniangalia msifanye kwa sababu hapa barua hivi so unajua unaandikiwa kuja kwa mzazi for so, seven strokes of kids so nilikuwa nafanyanga mwanya hapa unaona kwanza na na soma half tena nafungua sisi nyingine na soma i didn't have that kind of an old school to school fees mafukuzwa ukafurahia umepoa half terms ya emergency nyumbani nyumbani eh sasa wako fika kwa pesa ya barua kufika home oh my mom took time my dad took time and they sat down they called me wakanyume wakanyongelesha and that's when my mom break the news so kwa hiyo kwa hiyo barua hiyo hiyo barua nini ilikuwa ma nini kama leo kwa barua aliambia mtoto wako ako na mimba and mimba yake inaonekana so acha akae nyumbani ama arudi shule aendelee 
Hivyo tuseme shule eh, kiwa shule walikubali tu eh, unaweza ukajifungua mm-hmm. na unaweza soma shule. Mm-hmm. Shule ilikuwa shule nzuri sana, haikuwa mm-hmm. shule mbaya kwa maana kama wanakubalia mtoto eh anaendea kona mimba shule anaendea na so mrudi shule. Najua wazazi warudi shule si ndio ama walikubaliwa kwa nyumba. Nilikaa I didn't go back. So so kukaa home ni muamuzi wako na mzazi. They decided so. Wazazi. Yeah. Uko na uko na mimba. There's no any, there's no future, there's no anything. Yeah. So you are just useless. Uh-huh. Kaa hapo ujifungue jembe uh-huh. ndo hiyo. Uh-huh. Amo endo tafute baba mtoto. Okay, wazazi pia wanaona maana zingine magumu inafanya mtu kuzalia. That's how strict the parents are. Okay, lakini kwa hivyo kila mahali kuna mzazi anakubali kutaka atue karibu maisha. Mhm. So, let na mimba jibani. Don't even ask. <laughs> My life changed from better to worse. Because I became a mom, because I became a parent and I became a burden. I remember um yes of course when I was pregnant, you know when you are pregnant, uh, uh they take this on you because they don't want you to commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the time I delivered my girl, uh he delivered two years. Uh, that it was okay. Even though there was some challenges uh, but ado ya kulipa hospital but nilitoboa. Mm. From there okay, life went well until my child was around one. One year. One year. So ile ile period yote kabeba mimba, umebeba mimba vizuri. Mhm. Sasa umejifungua? Mhm after kujifungua mm-hmm. eh ukakaa one year no uh, before before one year uh, three months went by and this there was a, a sister to my mom i loved her so much she's the only one who understood what a family means the only person Yaani ule utasema huyu hata akifa na afufuke na arudi kukufa na afuke ndaile kumpenda. So, uh, because of what had happened to me, she did not want the same thing to happen to her. Ah, uh, ile hali ya kiwafu mpere akapata bon. Ah, uh, she tried to abort the baby, she died. So tuseme, wewe wewe umekaa mhm. Wewe umejifungua mtoto mzuri. Uh-huh na lakini maisha yamejakuwa mazuri kuna mwingine ambaye ameweza pia yeye kupachikwa mimba na amechukua maisha yake na yako kuwa same akaangalia mwenye yale ulipitia yani akagiva ile kukatalimwa kila mtu they just gave up on you like you don't exist in that family so pia akagiva in the narrative you pass by you don't exist you are nothing to them So what she did uh, she tried to make it easy for the for the brothers so that they don't realize that she was pregnant and it went bad she died on the process so three months uh, she died my child was three. we went there i just went to, went to my grandma's house then mm. Nikateko, the premo, everything they, I so, took So, tuseme, uyu ambaye, uh, aliweza kuyaga dunia, mm-hmm. in from mother's side. Yeah. Na ya, yeah, so, tuseme, kwa, 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 And the reason why she did so it was because she did not want anyone to know she was pregnant because she show what they are doing to me. So yeah. through through what all kufanya? Aku anataka kupitia hiyo tena. Yeye alikuwa ni mtu mwerefu sana. Alikuwa anataka amalize shule, alikuwa anataka aende mbali. 
and nothing was going to stop her, nothing was going to go away until she does what she wanted to do. Not even the child. Okay, that's why we say not abortion. That's why we could do a to changi, ama to support uh to kufanya abortion. Kwamana ikona two way round, either upone ama pot se meshayako. Okay, so to rudi up um you are mezikwa. so after um so I'm gone kubwa. Mm-hmm. From there, we took a step again. We went to Amba. We went to Kupitia. Kanda music. Kupitia. We went to Hayo. We went to Amba. We went to marriage. Amba. We went to Anini. So when you need to go, you need to put some stuff as a cool as a bag. Maybe Amba. Amba. We need some baron. Don't know. Don't know. Amba. We have to. 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 We have si mwenye makosa ila arudia kosa ila arudia kosa ah mm. lakini aikuwa vile nilifikiria as i said nilikuwa nothing to everyone nothing like you are a ghost kila mtu akikuwa anafanya nini shame aibu so what I, what happened i really wanted to go back to school when my so, teachers so umekaa two years because nine year up ya mimba mm-hmm. one year mtoto kolea mtoto mm-hmm. so in two years mm-hmm. two years mm-hmm. bado tunakuwa na hiyo fikiria ya kurudi shule eh nakwambia i just wanted to go back to school i didn't know now to get the money but the only thing was in my mind hata wanichukue course yoyote hata wanipeleke hata wapi i only wanted to go to high school nimalize niende kwa lezi nifanye kitu ile nilikuwa nataka kufanya timiza ndoto zako mhm okay uh, high school wakati rudi high school ama nili is it rudi the only thing was um hapa sasa ukirudi shule unaenda kupata namba nyingine that is the answer so wao walichukulia hivyo mhm my mind dangerous sana my mom my dad uh, my dad wanted me to go back to school but mtumanya ananishikia mtoto hakuna my mom dad no uh, okay dad amkubali urudi shule atalipa mm-hmm. kaa mm-hmm. lakini hizi chukua hizi kumi ushika mtoto mm-hmm. so lazima uh, your mom pia akubali uh-huh. uh, i went back to my grandma my grandma said uh-huh. i'm too old for this one eh? i tried so hard to beg my mom to let me go back to school he said no he was the first one to say who you are kirudi shule anaenda kupata mtoto mwingine i love that uncle so much but when she when he said so even they loved it hey. he only had one ni kama sasa hii story inaenda kuchukua mkondo mwingine like okay wamekata usudi shule mm-hmm. Au kufikiria any other way same as there's no hakuna life what is ni hata ni jiwe hata mimi ni jiwe kama ule mwingine aliweza ule usimu ule ni your aunt aliweza kujitoa why kwa njia kufanya abortion maybe ikakuwa bahati mbaya au kufikiria sasa unaweza kufikiria wacha mimi ni nini nichukue another option nyingine tofauti ambayo itakuwa ambayo itanichukua kitu tofauti ah i didn't think my dad went to a uh, appointment you can can you bear na fast so same so, your dad i want support sana we will issue yeah 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 aliniombea nafasi kwa polytechnic juu ilikuwa ya serikali na walikuwa nalipa 4000 pa was it at ama ama mwaka so mimi nimekatwi wizangu sasa nafikiria hii hali ya maisha nilikuwa nafanya vibarua unajua you can't stay at home waiting for your parents to provide even for your kid mtoto pia anataka eh so nilikuwa nafanya vibarua ndogo ndogo hivi nikipata hata nilikuwa nenda kama kuna mtu anataka afanywe kazi tunaongea mimi namwambia kama ni chakula kama ni mahindi ni gorogoro fulani kama ni ngwashe unanipimia ngwashe kiwango fulani na unanipea pesa fulani so hiyo pacheti yangu ilikuwa inaenda ni rent tu hapo eh sasa si hata mtoto wangu peke yangu ilifika baka sasa ni family because my, my sisters and my brothers tulikuwa 
tuliona sasa ni vizuri ikiwa kama ni holiday we do something to nasaidia wazazi so ilikuwa tu una budget ya nyumba unafanya how was i to do when i was when i repair my house unaona so nikienda nikishika hii nishike na ile na nzo hapa nikimaliza nimepata chakula ya like 3 days nikienda pale nifanye ni 